What's going on guys and welcome back in this video we're gonna be checking out top 10 jailbreak tweaks for iOS 10. Most of these tweaks are going to be paid others are going to be free and they are useful and practical tweaks. Now before we get into the tweaks the theme that I'm currently using is called the muffin you can apply it using anemone and as you saw it teams many aspects in iOS you can see it teams the status bar glyphs and also the control center the settings icon as you can see and also it has a custom badge for the app icon as you can see in the mail app and many many icons now on to the 10 jailbreak tweaks the first tweak in the list is called force delete which allows you to delete applications using 3d touch functionality so instead of tap and hold on apps and tap on the close button to, de to delete applications simply force touch on any app here and you can see an additional option that says delete this app you tap on it and the application will be deleted and also you have an option to hide the stock applications or the ones that are installed from Cydia so you can see here anemone if I tap on it you can see hide this app you tap on it and it will be hidden and also here in the Safari app you can hide it as well Next up we have Scriblet which allows you to draw on your screen using activated gestures so you should set it from the settings of the tweak here so I set it to a single tap on the status bar which is this one right here single tap so if I single tap on the status bar here you can see I can draw anything and if you want to close the drawing simply tap on the close button in the upper left corner as you can see if you want to bring the drawing option again tap single tap on the status bar and you can also here see the three options the first one is to customize the thickness line thickness when you draw and also the transparency of the line and here the color so I will change it to blue so you can see here blue line when you draw and also here you can see eraser to arrange to erase what you draw so you can see I can erase everything and the last option is for screenshot to take a screenshot with what you have drawn so if I tap here you can see a banner that says you have take a screenshot and you should see it on the photos app usually when you open a new tab in Safari application you have to tap on the plus button and tap again on the address bar in order to enter your website but with type tab it will allow you to go directly to type your website address if I open a new tab you can go directly to the type tab without tapping again classic switcher 3 brings back the old iOS app switcher and iOS 10 so if I double tap on the home button here you can see the old app switcher you can see the icons scroll through them and also you get the media control to play and pause a song and also an option to activate rotation lock feature and you can go straight to the music app by tapping on the app icon here and you can kill applications in the background by swiping down on them as you can see and also you can see a preview of the application if you swipe up like this Next up we have Grabby which allows you to launch applications straight from the lock screen so you can see here we have five applications that you can launch or open from the lock screen you have the camera app, the music application, the control center, phone app and the messages app so if I swipe up on the music glyph here I can open up the music application and same thing for the other applications here we have the control center and also the camera grabber as you can see you can get open the camera by swiping up instead of swiping from the left and you can change the applications to your liking from the settings of the tweak grabby here the first option is the icon visibility you can have them always visible in the lock screen or you can type on the lock screen in order to display them and here icon count you can have up to seven applications to launch them from the lock screen 
and here the options for the applications that you want to launch here the camera you can change it to any application or action and also here you can choose the glyph in the image you can have the stock icon or other glyphs so here we're gonna change the music action into another application so for example we're gonna choose a random one here the app store application so we're gonna choose just app store and we're gonna choose here an image so you can have a default icon or you can have the full icon or the original icon of the app so we're gonna choose the original one here so if I lock my device unlock it again you can see the music glyph is replaced with the app store icon so if I swipe up on it I will get straight to the app store application QRC for WhatsApp is a quick reply and compose tweak for the WhatsApp application so you can see here if I receive a banner and if I swipe down I can reveal the whole conversation I can scroll through it and to dismiss it simply swipe down and to compose a message, simply set an activated gesture. So I set it to single tap on the settings bar. As you can see, you can quick compose from here to anyone, or you can see an additional icon added to your notification center. If you tap it, you can quickly compose from here as well. Next up, we have Polas, which allows you to customize pretty much everything in the top toggles and also the quick launch at the bottom. So you can see here at the bottom, I have additional applications I have Twitchbot, the music app, the app store application and also Cydia so I can launch those applications straight from the control center so if I tap on the Twitchbot icon I can access quickly Twitchbot from here same thing from the music app and also the Cydia application and you can change the applications and many things from the settings of the tweak here you go to configuration you can see the visible buttons, you can rearrange the applications that you have added and also here you can hide them, put them in the hidden buttons here you can see Cydia is now hidden display option, you can choose how much apps you want to be displayed in the quick launch so you can set up to 6 applications as you can see 6 applications, 5 you can turn on the pagination or you can have like freely scrolling you can scroll freely as you can see through the apps you can choose to open to the first page or order the applications by the recently opened ones and you can customize the shape so I have them in square shape you can have them in circle as you can see they are circle like the toggles and you can set them to none to have like a more square shape the option to restrict the applications from the lock screen so you can choose or you can hide them you can do anything you want here in the plus button you can add more applications so either applications toggles or you can have your own custom action so we're gonna go with the custom tab so we're gonna add a new one we're gonna select custom button one here we're gonna select an icon for example so the action we're gonna choose here is to kill all the applications in the background so we're gonna choose here for example trash trash glyph which is this one or this one so we're gonna go with this one right here and we're gonna tap on the action we're gonna choose the action through activator application we're gonna look for the kill the apps from the app app switcher so here is it clear app switcher so we're gonna choose it and we're gonna hit done so if I open up the control center you can see the trash glyph right here so I have many applications opened in the app switcher so if I tap on the trash glyph here all the applications will be removed as you can see and of course you can do the same thing for the top shelf all the toggles at the top right here you can rearrange them you can choose the pagination and how much toggles you want to display and you can add toggles you have many switches and toggles that you can choose from or you can have application as well as you can see or a custom action guest mode allows you to block people from seeing 
applications and other things that you don't want them to see so in the settings here of guest mode you can enable it from the switch here and here in entering guest mode go to guest passcode and enter a fake passcode here so you will keep the default one that you enter in the passcode and touch id and then go to the guest privilege so you can see here you can block elements the camera in the lock screen the today view the notification center the control center the app switcher and many more here and here in the enabled apps all the apps here are blocked in default and you can choose here the one that you want them to see so here i choose music application so if i enter my default passcode here i will be able to go to any application as you can see but if i enter the fake passcode here I will not be able to click on any application as you can see they are all unclickable also the ones in the folder and I will be able to access the music application only priority hub organizes the notifications and sort them by the app so you can see here if I send a test notification and if I received another one here you can see here each application has its own tab so the messages here and also the messenger application has its own place and you can customize the look of the tweak within the settings here you can have the enable switch and also the ability to send a test notification when you apply changes and here in the icons you can have uh, the notification or the icon at the top or you can have it at the bottom as you can see and also you can customize the, the icon size you can have a small icon the medium or a full size like the ones on the springboard as you can see here we have the number style where you can have like a regular red badge or you can have a number below the icon Here we have the option to pull to clear and it's not working at the moment and the privacy mode to hide notifications when they arrive so you can see if I send a test notification the, the banner is hidden and you can see it by tapping on the icon as you can see you can hide it by tapping again on the icon and you can also enable priority hub in the notification center you can enable it here and if I send a test notification you you can see the banners are in one section the last tweak in the list is called asphalia x which allows you to secure applications in other elements in ios using 3d touch or a passcode so you can set the passcode from the settings of the tweak here you can choose to use touch id only or or both passcode and touch ID so you go to secured items you can choose to secure the act activator applications here in advanced security you can choose to secure the app arranging the slide to power off multitasking control center and also the spotlight in the photos and here in the secured app you can choose the apps that you want them to have a passcode or a touch ID in order to access them so here I choose the app store so you can have the passcode only the both passcode and the touch ID or the touch ID only so if I want to enter app store you can see a uh, touch ID scanner indicator so if I want to enter it I should use touch ID here so you can see so you can see again the animation of the scanner when I try to enter the app or if you want to use a passcode simply tap on application until you see the indicator and tap again to use the passcode so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did please smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't for new content thank you for watching now we'll catch you guys in the next one